I'm liking this one. This one's very good. Hello, good evening everyone, welcome once again to the stream. It's fantastic to have you all here as per usual. Hope you're all doing very well this evening. Let's make sure that this one is added to the playlist as it has been done. Beautiful. Hope you're all doing alright. I'm doing very well this evening. Very well indeed. As well as the current times will permit me to be anyway. <laughs> we were we are um, we're going in with Blood Omen 2 this evening because it's a game that I need to finish playing. We've um we started it kind of halfway through October and I mean I've well missed out on the the Halloween opportunity to finish it now. But that's not important. What's important is that we do get the game finished. I do like to finish a game because otherwise, what's the point in starting, I suppose? That's what it comes down to. Oh, dearie me. I'm a little bit sleepy today. I am a little bit sleepy, but otherwise all is well. It's just a little bit, a little bit sleepy. But we have started ahead of schedule. Normally I want to get started by 7 o'clock and normally end up starting around 10 past. <laughs> but it's currently a few minutes to now, so we are actually well ahead of the game. Which is a good place to be. I've been doing a little bit of thinking on some stuff to play for the future. Uh, I've got some interesting ideas. Uh, interesting ideas that I think, anyway. I've got several different like game distribution platforms. I'm on Steam, I'm on GOG, Origin, Amazon Games now. And I've got a whole heap of games on those things that I've never actually played, so... Maybe at some point in the future it'd be quite cool to do a sort of random selection of weird stuff that has just kind of accumulated in my game libraries. Stuff that's been given away from for free even. Like I know that GOG just gives games away for free every now and then. Kind of like that time when Apple made everybody with iTunes have that album from U2. I don't remember what the album was called because I deleted it straight away. But <laughs> it was kind of like Apple just went, thanks for using iTunes. Here's U2's latest album, enjoy. And everyone was like, I don't want this. Fairly sure even the fans of U2 were like, no, I don't want this. <laughs> and I think that's what's happened on GOG is I've got a whole heap of games. I wonder if actually I can go in and have a look at that now and see. Because I've never played them before. So I figure it might be kind of interesting to just get an idea for them. Got Beneath a Steel Sky, Dragon Sphere. Don't know what those are. Treasure Adventure Game. What's this one? Tyrion Two Thousand. Ultima Four: Quest of the Avatar. What are you? War Cell. Worlds of Ultima: The Savage Empire. I don't know what these are. These are games that have just been given to me. It even says free in the corner. So maybe one day we'll just claw through all of the random games I've got that I've never played. And just see what they do for us. We might discover a hidden gem that way. Anyway, enough of that. Let us move onwards. The music comes down low. In fact, it switches off. Not as smoothly as I would have liked, but it does do that. And then we need to get ourselves... A game beginning. Switching over. Am I set up correctly? I believe I am. He's done it right first time. There is a first time for everything, including doing it right. So, last time we played this, we... Um, where would we be? The upper city right here. So, this feels like a bit of an unfair start. This guy's already aggroed on us, and I can't remember the controls. So, this feels ever so slightly unfair, but I guess we just gotta, we gotta make do. <laughs> so, we killed one of the evil vampires last time, and now we need to try and, oh, jump, 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 Kane! Now we need to try and track down the rest of them. I presume. These guys are like the evil soldiers, well, not evil soldiers, but are the evil cult 
not even necessarily evil, but are the cult that are committed to ridding the world of, well, me specifically. Not necessarily all vampires, just, just me. And so far this guy's doing a phenomenal job. In fact, he's ended it already right off of the gate. I'm going to say that that was unfair on the game's part because this guy just starts us right off. We have got some mist that we can use. I'm wondering if maybe I can just hide in the mist and he will forget about us. Something like this. However, he is a glowing guy, so he is aware that we are here the whole time. I don't know if we'll be able to get the stealth kill in. We didn't. We can dodge out of the way there. That would be better. Now maybe we can get ourselves a stealth kill in. While he's stunned, we can just hide out. And he doesn't know. He don't even know. Oh, there we go. You can't get close to him. The fact he's glowing means you can't hide. I presume is what, what we're going to learn from this. Come on, we can do it this time. There we go. We got him at long last. Then we get the beautiful blood suck animation to recover our health. And we also gain access to a weapon. Fantastic. And now we can progress onwards and forwards. So the, the overall story of the game... Oh! They are the means to an orderly society. My father says... Oh, you and your father. Don't you see? The order and discipline the Seraphim impose on the lower orders are for everyone's good. They respect us. They know their place. My father says there was a time when the great noble families ruled the land, with a king over all. It's just the same now. The Seraphim lord, but, but we, the nobles of the land, are not being permitted to have a proper influence upon affairs. Speak for yourself. We cringe and we pay. Many an ancient family has been brought to ruin by the unending taxes. And where is the money going? He's not even building palaces. Does your father say that too? Father has disappeared. Oh, I am so sorry. He was summoned to a meeting. Don't tell me anything more. Never returned. So I've been thinking that if we, the young nobles, could meet. I've just remembered I have a very important something I must do at once. <laughs> oh, well, don't let us keep you from that very important thing you must do at once. <laughs> I love the incidental dialogue in this game. It is totally superfluous to anything whatsoever. Oh, he fell! But then he got right back up. It's totally superfluous. It doesn't do anything, but gosh, it, it doesn't half make the world feel lived in. It makes it feel a little bit more real. And I kind of... I, I, I like it when it feels real. Especially when they're... Oh, who's alert? Someone's alerted to my presence. That's un that's not good. Yeah, I like it when the world feels real and lived in. It creates a nice little bit of... Well, realism, I suppose. The uh, the additional advantage as well is that all the characters in this game sound like they're from the West Country. And so it gives me an impression that it's set in England, which makes everything a little bit more identifiable. Alright, we've got ourselves a wheel here. Which very, very loudly does... Something. Right. Okay. I think I know what I'm uh, what I'm supposed to do here. We need to get a. We need to get the green ball, the green thing here. I think we need to move it to the other one. Ooh. Okay. It has powered down the searchlights, but it has released. A couple of guards. Presumably these are the ones that were alerted to our presence, perhaps? And not only that, they're the bad kinds of guards as well. They're the ones that do the glowing whenever we get near them. Which means that we can't sneak up on them. However, the game has very handily provided us with some mist to be able to hide in. And we are unable to use it. Which is wonderful. It's always the way. What the game giveth with one hand, it doth taketh eth with the othereth. Come on, Kane. Does tend to get stuck on the uh, on the world a little bit, a little bit too much for my liking. But he's okay. He's a good egg. He knows what he's doing. 
Don't know if a vampire has ever been described as a good egg before, but this guy's a good egg. He certainly is. So now we what we re-lower the cages? I can't I can't do Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> That's why the cage wouldn't work. That's why the cage wouldn't work. So now we just need to shove that power source into here. And that will allow us to activate the lever. Is it? That's exactly what he said. Hello, Rach. Good evening. Welcome. Hope you're doing all right this evening. We got to. Uh... Oh, he knows. He's lit up like a Christmas tree. He knows. He's coming. And I say, bring it. I am ready. Okay, he got an early hit in. That's bad, but it's okay. We got a swift dodge. Now the guy is concerned. He does some blocking. We can block just as well. This was it. It just took one go to get into things, that's all. It just took a go to get into things. He's gonna kill us the first time round, that's fine. These things happen. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And our recovery is going to be something spectacular, I can tell you that. Apparently now I'm targeted on the civvies, which I don't really want. I want to deal with this guy first and foremost. Oh, there we go. We, we worked it out. Oh, but he came right back in. That's no good. The problem is when I, when I want to try and dodge him, it swaps the target over to one to the civilians who were just stood here watching the fight. That's it. You get out of here. You guys have upset me, and for that you shall pay most heinously. Look, the, these guys are tough, especially when you've got civilians in the way. Stay back. You don't get the chance to tell me what to do. How do I do the grab? Just like that. You, my friend, have the worst fate of all. <laughs> a sword hilt to the nose, apparently. <laughs> that's that's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> but, but you know, whatever, it'll do. Any port in a storm, I guess. <laughs> Any port in a sword, I guess? Ooh, uh, doesn't really happen that way, but... It's fine. If there's one thing I'm known for, it's shoehorning puns into where they don't belong. You can trust me to do that. Can we go in here? We can, but I also think there's a door around here that it looks like we can go into as well. With some mist around outside it, so... Okay, we can't actually go into that door, so we have got to go into the first door. That's fine. Let me in. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I knew there would be. I disagree with this man's constant blocking. He's too good. He needs to be taught a lesson. And I shall be the one to do so. You're too predictable, my friend. You must simply be better. Better than me, potentially. Better than yourself, absolutely. Who's to say? You must just be better. In every way. And you know it to be true. <laughs> just get good. Oh, just get good, bro. That's all you need to do, man. Just get good. Oh, cutscene time. Ah, oh, there's the second of our evil vampires that we need to kill. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. We ought to kill him on sight. <laughs> I like the idea that this vampire walks up to the guard and the guard goes, Hey, I'm supposed to be looking out for a vampire. And he goes, Yeah, but not me though. Like, I'm, I'm fine. You can let me go. <laughs> oh, I didn't listen to the conversation. That was, that was a mistake on my part. I should have done, but I didn't. That was me. I'm sorry. I, I, I got too, I got too eager. Fine. You can, you can run. I'll come back for you. 
Oh man, I'm drawing in everyone's attention now. Oh. Okay, Thing things are very dangerous now. I'm going to need to do some quick running just to get out of the way. Hide in the mist if we're able to, which we are. Now, the downside is that there's only one, or there is a guard that's going to be protected against us because he's going to glow. And I'm wondering if he might give our position away to everybody. It's this one. Ah, oh, but I can't change target. Insta-kill! No, it didn't happen. Okay. Back in the mist. No one knows. We need to get rid of the civilians first. The civilians are just extraneous targets that are causing me grief. However, they all got far too close. And for some reason, I stopped blocking. Which also didn't really help. Okay, well we definitely could have handled this much better than we have. But it's okay. We just need to keep on using the mist as our greatest ally. Don't skim around like that. Can we get him? No, we can't. We're going to have to break cover. Oh, no, this is not good. We're going to be dead. Okay, we got some stunning on there. So maybe we can actually get over here and suck some blood. We'll get ourselves a new sword. Try and heal. Okay, he got in. He got there. That wasn't good. Alright, things are tense now. Things are tense. We can get this guard right here. No, we can't! I'm too bad at my job. Okay, stealth it up again. This will happen, and it will make life easier, no matter what the game tries to do. There we go, we got him! We could have handled this much better than we have. <laughs> story of my life. Certainly the story of this part of the game, it feels like. Even if nothing else. Things are not going well for us. Oh, no, 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 no! Good job, Kane. Just swerved it in time. Whoo wee! That was a lot more tense than it had to be. We now need a good feeding session to try and heal ourselves back up. <laughs> that did not go well at all. Not in the slightest. But it's not how, about how well it went, it's the lessons we learned as a result. Ah! That's it, we was on a journey to the Bishop's Manor, but I didn't realise... I just assumed it was like, oh, we're going round to we're going round to Nick's house. I didn't realise that the Bishop's Manor would actually be called Bishop's Manor. <laughs> Still, there's no mistaking it for somewhere else, I guess. Does what it says on the tin, is what it is. I like things when they're nice and simple like that. We can get some extra XP out of this chest as well. And the friendships we didn't make on the way. <laughs> Only enemies. Alright, so it looks like there's a couple ways to go. Except there isn't really, because the gate to the Bishop's Manor is locked. So there isn't actually uh, several places to go. There's only one place to go at this current time. It's an important distinction. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to have to be around this way right here. Ooh. Nothing like a bit of tension to help move things through. So we climb the bell tower. And this looks like the perfect spot for a long jump. Guide me unto my fate. Oh, and it did so. Beautifully. That's the way I like it. Noob's mom is back. Hello, Noob's mom. I hope you're doing well this evening. If it is evening for you, 
Actually, if I remember correctly, you're probably in the you're in the U.S., so it's the afternoon, I suppose, maybe. It's evening here, anyway, <laughs> and I hope you're doing very well this evening, or whatever time of day it is. Oh, he got us. He got us. Doing great. 1:15 p.m. La lunchtime. <laughs> Thank you so much for dropping in as well and for the bits yesterday. I do uh, do very much appreciate that. Oh, that was a good feed. That was a good feed. That was nice. Need to take some water myself. Not that that's what we're drinking, but um, we can we can we can make it family friendly. We can we can say it's just it's just like blackcurrant juice or something like that. A like bit of Ibina maybe. Now, I'm seeing the mist on the floor. It's leading me to think that I should get this ready. Oh, I've got to, uh... I've got to do this to get in there. I see. That's okay, we can hide here. V8. What's V8? Is that a kind of drink? I'm assuming it's like a, uh... A kind of blood substitute for a family-friendly game. We can hide. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's fine. Where did he go? Yeah, exactly. Where did he go? You don't know. You don't know these things. We got him. Ah, uh, red veggie drink. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah, he's just... Spewing that out everywhere. I don't know how we explain the sword through the neck in a family-friendly way, but we can at least... <laughs> we can at least explain away the blood family-friendly. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's lure him up and straight back into the smoke. He don't know. He's going to try to know, but he don't know. Oh, he knows! Oh, don't do that! Hmm. I hate those attacks. It's, the problem is, is like he gets locked into a combo and then you can't dodge sufficiently. He tried. I think, in fairness, we probably should not have taken no damage to that attack, but... At least we did take no damage to that attack. <laughs> it wasn't probably wasn't the best way to word that sentence, but I think everyone knows what I mean. <laughs> I see you here too. Can we? Do you reckon we can get a long jump on this guy? Maybe. Give me, give me the, give me the good stuff. Oh, from behind! Come on! Kill him! Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, he still ain't dead. <laughs> Here you go. Have a little slice of that. He's done. I uh, haven't seen this game before. So this is a game called Blood Omen 2. Um, it's I'm presuming it's a sequel. I've not played the first game. Um, the only reason I started playing this game was because sort of me and one of my... Um, like my old next door neighbour, we used to play this game a lot uh, when we were younger, and then I saw it going on Steam for relatively cheap. So did the good thing, bought it, and have been struggling to get it to work properly ever since. <laughs> but um, it's it is a pretty fun game. The only sort of story I can give to the game is that we are a vampire who has been asleep for a long time and has been reawoken because there's a danger threatening the world from other evil vampires that must be stopped and he is the only one capable of doing so or, or something like that um and i think that's i think that's more or less the story <laughs> not 100 percent sure i'm but you know what it'll do for the time being i'm wondering if we do a long jump over to there is that what the game wants doesn't appear so. I can't stand on the chandelier. Okay. Unsure of the way to progress here, so maybe we need to do something back out here. Is there a door I missed that we can open, perhaps? Doesn't appear so. There was a checkpoint there, so we do have to do something in here. 
and I am unsure what. I think some of the some of the highlights of this game are definitely its rather grandiose kills and effects. <laughs> it is rather gratuitous at times. Oh, this door opens. Right, who knew? Okay, I must have not checked this one. Yeah, its over-the-top kills are by far and away some of its most entertaining aspects. It is a very old game. This game was made uh, was released in 2002, I believe, so it's doing well for itself. It's nearly 20 years old. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay, this guy looks like trouble. Okay. This one could be dangerous. But yeah, so 2002, it was made by Crystal Dynamics, the same people who did a lot of the uh, newer Tomb Raider stuff. This is kind of where they came from. Maybe we should we should probably switch out to our Fury Swipe right here, so we can do a load of additional damage to him. Oh, we did it! Oh. I was honestly expecting a lot more. <laughs> the bookcase slides open, this guy runs up. Sees a dead giant. And he's like... <laughs> oh, he, he has something to say. What's your business here? Who are you? I beg you, be merciful, good sir. I I was butler to the Bishop of Meridian, but the, the, the Seraphim, they're, they're inside now. I, I, I thought I would wait here. Where are they? They accuse the Bishop of aiding the vampire resistance. They're looking for proof. I beg of you, do not tell them where to find me. I will do anything. Yes, you will. Ooh. Tell me where to find the bishop. I, I can't. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Shall I ease your mind and tell you I am sent by Vorador for the vampire resistance? Or shall I simply tear out your throat and continue my search? <laughs> I leave the decision to you. The cathedral. He fled there. He thought he would be safe. Holy ground will not deter his pursuer. Where is the cathedral? To the northeast. But it will do you no good. You cannot enter without the proper authority. I suggest you show me the way. Now. He's just wet himself. Of course, sir. <laughs> this way, sir. It is my pleasure to serve you. Honestly, the voice sir, acting is phenomenal. But uh, the exactly. animation is not good so night. much. <laughs> oh, good. We get to we get to feed. Look at him go. Look at that jelly wiggle. I mean, look at that belly jiggle. Belly wiggle. We get ourselves a colossal scythe as well. And fortunately, there's a man to test it out on. Now. I think we go for the, we go for the big stuff here. We get somewhere where we can view him. Okay, just drop him for a moment. I need to... I need some... I need some clear vision. See? That's it. You run out run out of the corner here. I need to see. Don't run into another corner though. I must see what happens when we use this colossal weapon. <laughs> Do, uh, what what sorcery is this? Don't make me destroy you. Thank you. Oh, it's still another Oh! <laughs> We're gonna be like, oh, it's just another hilt bash. What a lame attack! <laughs> and then he just went in. <laughs> Good grief! Was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, that's good. We got a checkpoint. We need to do a save because this game is very buggy, and it's it's not gonna maintain itself for very long. He was merciful in knocking him out first. Though. This is true. This is true. He did do the good thing, but um, really, prepare to die yourself. I'm so glad we found that out now. Probably shouldn't be feeding just yet, because I'm going to get attacked, but... 
Never mind. Now I know that this weapon does that. We're going in on that. Oh no, maybe I should just actually try and attack rather than go for the insta-kill every time. Because if we die, we're going to lose this. And I don't want to. This is a good weapon. I don't want to lose this. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh, this is a good game if you uh, if you like your anti-heroes. And if you like being the bad guy. This is 100% the game for you. Now, what's going on? Oh, is this another one of the sharp, pointy stick? Yes, it is. It's one of the ones with the baton. Okay, he he didn't let us let us grab him. That's fine. He won't be able to resist my colossal scythe for very long. Your time is over, friend. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. I just feel sorry for the YouTube vod. That's gonna be demonetized so quickly. <laughs> I see the gap. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's m plenty of them. Oh, it does attack very slowly. It is a very slow attacking weapon. But the damage output feels very, very good. Oh, there's an opportunity for a stealth kill right here. I see the mist. Where did I go? Where have I gone? What are you doing? What? What's that walk? <laughs> it's an old game. doing <laughs> um may I stealth stealth kill oh it's exactly the same it's exactly the same as the grab Definitely not. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. That... <laughs> That's that's probably one of the best glitches I think I've ever seen. Ah! We had a level up. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Level up, bit of a health increase. It's good. Keep us alive a little bit longer. Oh, man. <laughs> I want more of that. I want to see more of that, please. Where do we go from here now? Into the mausoleum? Maybe around there, actually. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go in there, so... We've got to head round the corner here. Ah, oh, more mist. Ah, yes. See, these guys can walk perfectly ably. Seems like we've got a lot of durability on this thing as well, so it's... Oh, he says it's immediately about to break. Which means that we're going to lose our colossal scythe monster for, I don't know, one of these one of these beating, beating anks that these, these guys are carrying about with them. Beautiful timing as always, just like Spelunky yesterday. <laughs> You know what, it's, it's the streamer's curse. As soon as you say anything, the opposite will begin to happen. Hey, we're doing really well. Dies over and over. Oh, this has a lot of durability. Item breaks. 
It's the way it'll always be. The way it always has been. It's just something we need to accept. Oh, there's still fireworks going off as well, because it's the 7th of November now. And as everyone knows, in addition to remember, remember the 6th of November, the day to let off all your fireworks, there is also remember, remember the 7th of November, which is where you let off any of the ones you have left over. Okay, so I can do something with these. Is there some significance to these, perhaps? They have got different patterns on them. But I don't know if it, the stream isn't what's cursed, it's you. We both know it's you. <laughs> it is me. I am tremendously cursed. Which is why I'm playing a game about an evil vampire, I suppose. Um, I'm not noticing anything significant with these doors that signifies an order that they need to be pressed in. So, let's just go for the one in the middle and see what happens. Okay, maybe we just need to press them all in? Oh wait, I can't press that one. I'm pressing in the three evil ones. First time! <laughs> that is how you brute force a puzzle, my friends. I'm not quite sure why, I mean, like, I... If it works, it works, I guess. And it worked, it worked. So it did. Ah, hi. Uh, which one of you is going to be the one to break my Scythe Lord here? It shall not be you. <laughs> it shan't be you either. <laughs> wow, what a puzzle. Right. I'm the puzzle king. Ain't been no puzzle ever set for me that's been too difficult. Just ones that I've gotten bored with and not completed. <laughs> Down we go, onwards and forwards. Hello? I am announcing my arrival. Actually, this is kind of creepy. Ah, a checkpoint. This can only bode well. So we shall do the good thing. And so... Can you stop? All right. Well, it seems we've uh, we've got the fireworks. Didn't notice till I stopped. Well, now you ain't gonna be able to not notice. Oh, here he is, the bishop. Uh, looks more like a king to me. We'll find out whether or not he moves diagonally or not. I assume that I address the Bishop of Meridian. <laughs> I seek information on gaining access to the Sarafan Keep. You are to give me passage inside. I am sent by Vorador. <laughs> what ails you? Speak! He speaks only at my command. What? <laughs> you are too late, Kay. He is entirely in my power. What an old windbag. Release him and I may spare your life. I hold the cards now, Kay. Surrender yourself to me, or I will kill you. What do I care for the life of some mortal? But the thought of killing you at last entices me. Tell me, Marcus, do you truly believe you can stop me? Stay back. You cannot win. The bishop will tell you nothing while he remains under my power, and you will never catch me. I said, oh, <laughs> I muted my mic during that cutscene because the fireworks. Um, so it seems that the Bishop of Meridian has fainted. We can't suck his blood, so he's not dead. 
But now we need to go on a chase to catch uh, Marcus. I think he said his name was. But we should also be careful about how much chase we give because you can bet there's going to be guards around. Oh. Here he goes. Okay, he's in the lift, or he's in a room somewhere. Fortunately, plenty of civvies around. We need to we need to feed before we take on the boss. What occasion for the fireworks? It is the fifth of, or well, it was the fifth of November, um, which uh, we in the UK we celebrate for some reason. <laughs> um, basically. Many years ago, uh, there was a guy who tried to blow up Parliament. And uh, every year now, we let off a load of fireworks to commemorate the fact that he didn't succeed in blowing up the Houses of Parliament. Because that's that's one of the things that we do here in the in England. <laughs> oh yeah, and we're also we're also celebrating our second national lockdown of the year. Woo! <laughs> So yeah, it's um, it's not a. Uh, honestly, like I know a little bit about like the gunpowder plot and all that sort of thing, but like it's, it's never really struck me about how odd of a thing it is to celebrate until I said it out loud just then. Where, what we are doing is we are celebrating an act of terrorism, that didn't occur, an attempted act of terrorism that didn't occur. And it's a very odd thing to commemorate, especially to spend the whole week commemorating. Like I say, it only happened on one day. When I was growing up, Fireworks Day just used to take place on the 5th of November. And it was impossible to forget because they would teach you the rhyme in school. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. And sure enough, it was never forgotten. But the ceremony of the occasion has long since outweighed the 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 relevance of it i suppose <laughs> yeah no not this lockdown yeah we've been cast into another one for a month um at least who knows that's why that's why we're making more of an effort here on twitch to push things up is because i'm out of work at the moment so i need to do something to stop me from going too much more insane to save christmas Oh, oh yeah, that's why we're in lockdown. I thought he was like, Guy Fawkes didn't blow up Parliament to save Christmas. <laughs> no, that's why that's why everyone's being told to stay in their homes. Boris Johnson is Santa Claus. Come on, Rach, Halloween has gone now. Okay. <laughs> no more scariness like that. The only reason I'm standing here is because Marcus seems quite content to just stand there and, and wait. And there's something quite delightfully funny about this situation. <laughs> I haven't left home much at all since... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. And that's why that's why like Twitch is so phenomenally important now. <laughs> what <a> dumb animation. <laughs> um but that, that's why Twitch is so important. I I only started streaming this year kind of halfway through the UK's first lockdown because I was so outrageously bored and lonely and it was like let's just I don't know, try something out. And it's a great way to hang out and chat with people, meet new people. Uh, certainly as I've discovered, as I'm sure you've discovered as well, through uh, through, uh, through Noob himself and um, Jason and all the other people that everyone gets to meet throughout these Twitch communities. It's been a, it's been a massive help in these, in these, in these times. Oh, great. Good effort. Oh, he's gone. I can see his shadow, but he's gone. Oh, and he's back. And he's gone again. And he's back! What am I... What am I aiming for here? I don't know. So I, I see him running around. And I see a lever to pull. Which rattles the bells. Oh, it stunned him! Okay, we got to rattle the bells and then come in and do, do the work. We got him. We got him good. Right there. 
with Biden at the wheel, it can't get worse. I do not know much about the politics at the moment. And all the, all the stuff that's going on over there. I, I don't even know what's going on over here. <laughs> oh, if this is all the bosses, then I am down for this. I'm anticipating it's about to move on to phase two. But we shall see. What? What are you, what are you shouting at me for? I, I, when I say I don't know anything about what's going on in the US, I, that's, oh, he tried. Like, it's a, it's a very sweeping statement. What I, I, I know kind of what's happening, but I don't know in phenomenal detail. I know the election between Biden and Trump has been going on. From what I've been led to believe, Biden has won, but I have also been led to believe that neither scenario is particularly favourable. From what I've been led to believe, it's a lesser of two evils kind of thing. Oh no! They broke the bells! Oh! What the- <laughs> Bye then! <laughs> See ya! What is this boss fight? Okay, so they've broken the bells, I presume, is what I'm getting here. Biden is an idiot. Ah. I think that's how that's how we felt when we uh, realised that Boris Johnson was being put in charge. Oh, he he's running. I see you. Oh, he's quick. Not quick enough though. Ha. Is this all it is now? Just a pursuit and kill? Off that morbid subject. I I agree. I agree. I, I don't often discuss poli- Oh, this person's got a crossbow! I don't often, uh... Want to bring politics into, into the stream because- Oh, he- You broke my scythe! You shall pay. Yeah, I don't often want to bring politics into the stream because uh, it, it is quite divisive. Um, I don't mind, don't mind discussing it. I think it's a it's a good kind of talking point as long as everyone's adult about it, which uh, it certainly has been. But it does have the uh, ability to go off the rails very, very quickly. So. Uh, we shall move on to how simple this boss fight is. What on earth? We're just nailing him. Look at him. He's trying to be invisible and... Okay, now, he, now he's gotten away from us. That was... What the... I don't feel like this boss fight is supposed to be as simple as it's being allowed to be. Don't let this guy fire off his crossbow again. There we are. We got him. Quick feed. Absolutely. Give me some XP. Where is he? Oh, he sent in another another man. You got to do better than that, my friend. Much better than that. I will read your message in a minute. Right, in a minute, Rach. It's it's wordy, and I am busy clawing these men's faces off. <laughs> oh, you're still alive! Quick kick in the back. will take care of that, my friend. Oh, you want another? There you go. You done now? Yeah, I thought you were. Good effort. So, you know when the bar's busy and you've got to restock fridges and it's just chaos, but then you go to the cellar to get cool for two seconds, that's basically... Uh, okay, now I am with you. Completely understand. Where is he? Oh, he's here. I saw you. I see you. I feel like we've cheesed this boss fight just a fraction. I don't think it was... I don't think that's the way this boss fight was supposed to go down, but it is the way that it has gone down, so... There we go, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
I didn't want to turn a victory down. A victory, you know, victory is a victory. Now we absorb his dark gift. Give me your gift, Marcus. And he does. Nice. Now I'm assuming we, um... We now have the ability to control minds. Oh, man. Do you live? I, uh, yes. Y yes, I do. I must thank you for destroying that fiend. He, he robbed me of my mind. I'm sorry, sir. I can't hear you over the choir in the background. I require your help. Borador has sent me to gain passage to the Sarafan Keep. And the fireworks. Held captive there. <laughs> A fool's errand. To enter the very maw of the beast. But yes, I will help you. I will take you there. I will show you the entrance. Oh, he is kind of moving diagonally, too. <laughs> They're celebrating victory. Good, good perspective. Carry on with the fireworks. So long as it's in my name, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, there's another... There's another behemoth over there. You have entered the Seraphan Keep at last. Not without difficulty. You had to watch a stupid advert to get here, Jay. Oh, that may, may mean your sub has run out. I see. Then may I assume that another of Rage cheered three bits as well. Thank you very much, Rage. You may. Many times I attempted to persuade Marcus to join with us, but he would not heed me. My arguments were more convincing. I sense that Uma is being held in the uppermost reaches of the keep. You must hurry. She is to be executed soon. Where is the Seraphan Lord? Is he here? I do not know. His presence is masked from my senses. <laughs> but you are no match for him yet. Now, now, you two. If you encounter him, hide. If he sees you, run. Run? Hide? Vorador, you do not know me. Your task is to find Uma quickly. Let nothing distract you. The information she obtained from the industrial quarter may allow us to defeat the Seraphan Lord at last. Do not destroy our only chance with hasty action. How sickened I have become with weary admonitions of safety and care. How I long to rend the flesh of my one true enemy. How I thirsted for the taste of his life's blood on my lips. Koke, quickly. I will be watching. Man, Kane's voice actor is so good. You can just tell he loved the role. He was just so in there. I longed again to taste his blood on my lips. <laughs> Let's get a new save laid down. How are you doing this evening, Jay? I hope hope everything's going as alright as times will allow them to be. Things for us are going probably about as well as they can also. We have a new we have the charm ability right here. Which is what we just got from Marcus. But... I don't want to use that just yet. We need to do an insta-kill on... Oh, we, were t we weren't good enough. We really weren't good enough. Really weren't good enough. Ugh. Oh, no. It's not good to hear, my friend. Is he down? He's down. We suck the blood, we pick up the sword, and we make sure that everything is just fine. We got it. Although, what's this over here? Ah, another sword. I see. Hold Dark Gift and select Charm. Use Dark Gift to target victims. Use Dark Gift again to activate. Okay. So, I want to charm this man right here. Oh, we're this man now. We can be the man. We can open doors to have a look at things and scout the level. Oh, he moved out of range. We can't do that much then. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Well, that's fine. Let's carry on exploring out here first. I know that the man who sent us on this mission in the first place said, Let nothing distract you, Kane. But I'm going to spend some time wandering around and seeing what's what in the place. There's a moat there. Water's very bad for us. Which means that we've got to go over this way anyway. 
Now am I, I am not too bad, thank you. Slowly losing grip on sanity but doing my best to hold on to it. With the with the help of people tuning in. Oh my god, look at that face! That'll be a thumbnail and a half if I can get that for YouTube. <laughs> Good gosh. Yeah, trying to trying to cling on to whatever sanity I do have. How do I... Wait, if I press Z, is that... Help me. <laughs> I can press Z and I can get him to go, Help! And then we can press X to jump back out. <laughs> You've served your purpose, fiend. <laughs> did you look at the puppy pics? I, I did look at the puppy pics you sent me. Yeah, it's such an adorable little pup, but Doris is definitely not the right name for that dog. <laughs> Uh, I am very glad that Jen's changing the name of that puppy. Doris the Chihuahua puppy is not... is not appropriate. Okay, we're stealthed. Let's get him. It's sucking with the stealth kills here. Maybe we should just back up a little bit. So he doesn't know. Where did he go? Right where you left me. That'll do. Was that an ideal takedown? No. Did it do the job? Yes. Is that what we can ask for? That's all we can ask for. I heard some civilians screaming. And here he is, look. And is that... That's a weapons upgrade case. Okay, so here's what you do. You... Kill this guy. And then you suck up all of the blood. Those rats look like silverfish. Which rats? Oh, these ones. Yeah, they do a bit. <laughs> yeah, they do. So you suck up all the blood. You swap your weapon out for this guy's new sword. Then you take it up to the crate. You upgrade your sword to have more durability or do more damage. Or whatever those crates do for the weapons. And then you carry on. Spin the wheel. See where it lands. Switches off the mist. Which allows us to progress this way. For what point and purpose? Not a great deal. I see you wish to die this day. I can arrange that. How am I doing for subs and followers? So, yesterday, I made the thrilling announcement that I had reached 100 followers, which is fantastic. And today, I switch on OBS and I have 99. <laughs> so, I don't know what I did yesterday <laughs> to upset somebody, <laughs> but um, they go on now. <laughs> Um, which, uh, uh, whatever, no, uh, it's, <laughs> um, whereas subs, we are on 8 out of 15 for the new, uh, sub emote, uh, which is still the case, are we ever gonna crest the, uh, the double figures again? I, I'm a head out. <laughs> no, please don't go. <laughs> uh, where do I need to put this? Does this just go in here, perhaps? Oh, I think it goes a little bit further over, actually. Um, so yeah, there is that. However, according to the emails I get from Twitch after every stream, we are on the path to Twitch partnership, which will be lots of, lots of good news. Um... Okay, I can't do anything with that. Out of the three requirements for Twitch partnership, I have met one of them already, which is pretty damn good. So now there's just uh, there's just two more to fill, but they are unfortunately probably the most difficult ones. So I think the one that I've fulfilled is to stream for a certain length of time, which I can't remember what that one is. And the other one is to 
What are these for? Uh, the other one is to have streamed on several different days. I think it's about 12 or something like that. Um, and then the final one is to average 75 viewers and to have maintained all three of those requirements over uh, over 30 days. So... What is going on here? So, th th things are moving in the right direction. It's um, certainly good. But there's uh, just a couple of... Uh, couple of... Bigger jobs now that need to be taken care of. And hopefully... Without too much... Persuasion, that will... Happen in the end. Now is a perfect time to check all those boxes. Absolutely correct. So, I'm thinking this is supposed to go here. So that is what I am hoping for. Is that now I've got a month to literally do nothing. I will be able to... Hey, that's how you do it. Now I've got a month to do nothing. I will be able to sort out all of those extra odds and ends that need doing. In terms of streaming for a certain number of hours, that's nice and simple. If it's not in the bag already, then that will happen relatively soon. Streaming on a number of, cons not consecutive days, but on a, a number of days, a certain amount out of 30, that will be a doddle to do over the next month. Um, the tough one's going to be getting the viewers in. Why are these guys running? Last time someone started doing this was in Layers of Fear and it terrified me. Oh, because he was being chased by an assassin. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll save you. I'll save you, my friend. There you go. You have been saved. Um, so, yeah, the tough part's going to be getting the viewers in. And yeah, like you, like you say, Noob's Mum, it is the it is the toughest part. You need to convince people to come and watch you and then stay watching you. <laughs> and not only do you need to convince people to do that, you need to convince people to do that for 30 days. Um, and that's going to be the big problem. Or oh, what? Well, not necessarily problem. Problem is probably the wrong word, but that's going to be the most difficult thing to overcome because, you know, you everyone else has their own lives to to lead and other things to be doing and all that kind of stuff. Especially now as well, like there's whilst no one, certainly no one in the country, whilst no one in the UK can go anywhere, that doesn't mean there's nothing to do. Oh man, we just miss a fight. Like, there's still a lot of stuff that people need to do to keep their lives in order. Probably more stuff that they needed to do, need to do now than they had to before. So, it is a tough one. But, it's certainly by no means impossible. The degree of, um, the degree of Twitch growth that I've had over the last few months, whilst maybe not massive compared to some other people, has certainly been far and away more than anything I expected it to be when I first started doing this. I thought it would literally just be a you know, a couple of a couple of my real life friends who had nothing better to do with their day than spend a bit of time. Oh well that's a cue to go invisible. <laughs> but now it's kind of grown into so much more where um Hi Rach <laughs> now it's grown into more where there are strangers, you know, literally from the other side of the world that are being kind enough to come in uh, and, and show some support. So, whilst, whilst the growth is certainly no way impossible to achieve, it, it, it would be tough. But, as we say, I've got a month to... a month to really push on that. And, Rachel, so you say, having a good schedule going, it'll be easier? Absolutely. So I have got pretty much everything on my Twitch page for the next week or so. The, the annoying thing is that I've kind of scheduled it based on my working week, which starts on a Sunday, as opposed to the Twitch week, which starts on a Monday. So it's a little bit two calendars in one at the moment, but it is there. The, the guarantee is 7pm. And then we just go from there. 7pm <laughs> GMT. I need to kind of get into the habit of maybe specifying that now if we have got people from... Uh, other time zones. 
being kind enough to drop in. Oh man! Oh, that was horrible. So when Jay said, I, I'm a head out, I didn't realise he was actually heading out. I thought he was just memeing. Oh, don't do that. But now I feel bad because I didn't actually say bye to him. <laughs> sorry, Jay. You did actually leave. I'm sorry I didn't say properly, a proper goodbye to you. So goodbye, Jay. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, sorry, I thought you I thought you were just memeing. <laughs> goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm sorry I didn't say it properly. I thought you were just memeing. Now there's a there's a poem for the modern age. <laughs> Haven't saved in a while. I need a checkpoint. Cuz I don't want things to go wrong, which they very very may well do. I'm also aware I may not have articulated myself properly in the last 10 minutes or so with regards to support and, and that sort of thing. Um, not very good at doing two things at once, which is why I've chosen to play video games and talk simultaneously. <laughs> so, if I said anything that didn't quite sound right, then I, I apologise, but I, my, I, I wasn't really sure what I was focusing on, to be honest. I don't even know if I was focusing on anything. Um which I can only apologize. <laughs> oh. We're locking the main stairs. But I've just begun down here. We never lock the main stairs at this time of day. We've had word there may be an intruder. Intruder? <laughs> Thank you, Rich. Down here? Yes, I I'm all finished here, sir. Well, what a what a redundant conversation to have. This is my man right here. You picked a bad evening to come to work, friend. Beautiful. You are probably a little bit biased, Wage, but... <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind a bit of bias. As long as it's in my favour. Haha, <laughs> topical, am I right? <laughs> Politics is a no. Satire? Absolutely a yes. <laughs> As my work board will prove. Ooh. Oh, it's a short sword. I'm not interested in a short sword, for I have a long sword. You can glow all you want. I wasn't even trying to be clever with you. We got him. That's how you take down a glowy boy. Nice and easily, with absolutely zero fuss whatsoever. Now, where did we come from? Was it over there? I think it was over there, so we now need to maybe try what's up this ladder. We need to approach this ladder from the correct side. And then... Oh, don't go in the water though, Kane. Water is tray bad, as the French might say. If they were multilingual. Alright. Turn the wheel of progress. What happens? The waterfall stops. Okay. Oh, we probably needed to do a long jump over to that one. Oops. Okay, well we can climb back up and try that again then. What I do like about this game, and I mean, we haven't played all the way through yet, so I don't know how much more it does do this, but I like that it is making sure that all of the bonus powers we're getting are relevant. Like, here, here we go. Just because now we've got another dark gift doesn't mean the long jump is any less relevant. You keep saying water, that does not look like water. <laughs> look, look, it's a slummy part of wherever the hell this is set. So, it probably is water to some degree. Oh, did I have to do another long jump? No, I don't have to long jump. I don't have to long jump. I can't get over to there. I need 
to work my work, work my ways on this man. That is such a haunting picture. I hate it. And now he's going to lower the sludge level. Happy now. <laughs> um maybe I could can I make him uh make him jump? Oh, I probably could have done if Oh, I can't charm him again. Oh, I can charm him again. All right. Can I make him jump? Is the Okay, I can't actually make him jump, but can I make him run off the edge? No. Oh man, I wanted to like fry his brain or or something at least. I I can't do anything. I can make him go help. help. But that's about it. Don't do it, my friend. It ain't worth it. Or it might be. I don't know your your personal situation. But I'm joking. That's never a good thing to say. I apologize. This is what I mean. I'm not focused on what I'm saying. I'm focused on the game and then things like that happen. That's not good. I'm going to smack myself on the wrist for that one. Worries me that there's loads of bones. What are you doing down here? This presumably was full of water a moment ago. Were you just like... Blobbing along like a fish down here or what? Oh, he got in with a 1-2. That's okay, we got him back. Quick feed. Just to replenish the supply. We aren't doing too well for health though. I could do with some more civilians to kill. Just some easy targets, ones that aren't going to hurt us. Just some easy pickings. Hydration break? I don't mind if I do. Oh, I didn't want to do that though. I don't want a charm. Let me out of charm. I need to get the mist on and hide. And a posture check as well. Thank you very much for showing some concern for my back. I might introduce like a new... Uh, a new um, a new channel point redemption as well for like a stretch break or something like that. That feels like a good idea. Do you know how it is? Like even when you redeem your posture, sometimes you still feel a little bit tense and stuff. So maybe a stretch break where you can like, you know, stretch out to the side and up. Maybe even maybe even I don't want to I don't want to push the boat out too far, but maybe even get out of the chair. I know, crazy times, but could be worth doing just to ensure that the old spine stays in line <laughs> wow what a concept getting up from your chair he saw us coming okay you can't dodge backwards <laughs> I could do this all day but I'm gonna run out of corridor so I won't oh and he's got a friend who's arrived can you stop? My sword is going to break. See, I told you. You're dead to me now. I mean, well, yeah, literally. Give me the sword. Oh, the sword doesn't exist anymore. The sword fell out of the map. I can't reclaim a weapon from him. That's not fair. Please, give me... Oh, there's no sword there anymore. Fine. Hopefully his friend is in the mist. No, his friend is not in the mist. He saw what was going on and just shut the door right up again. All right, suit yourself. Hello there. Hopefully this guy will give us a sword. Oh, he's going to crawl away. You coward. No chance. Again? No. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. That one I could get. It's fun to stay at the... Why? <laughs> Good. Very good. 
I thought I was going to lose a second sword there. I would not have been happy. Not in the least. Help me! Who wants my help? I hear you. I hear you calling for me. Ah. Man, I love, I love his evil laughters. His evil laughters? His evil laughs when he's killing off the civilians that are shackled up. Do that black again. Do that, do that block again. It looks like M. Uh, oh, when, oh, when he had his, uh, when he had his claws. Yes. So. <laughs> Can I open these? I can't open these. However, one of them is already open. For no reason. Oh, a second one's open. For no reason. That's not the point of a jail, my friend. You're supposed to have cells to keep people in, not lock them up outside the cells. Anyone in this one, maybe? No? I see that guard patrolling the top parapet up there. We'll have to go and deal with him in a moment. However, if I climb up here, maybe we'll get a little sneak attack, perhaps? Drop down and give him the art of surprise. There is something to turn here. Which sends the glyph magic in the opposite direction, which is good. However... It was a weird noise. However, I don't know what I may have missed on this side first. Hello there. In the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, don't... You're mine. Can we pick him up? Not like that. Now we can pick him up. Enjoy your early retirement, fiend. <laughs> I think Sweden has open cells. Oh, really? I just keep on hearing a weird crying noise, which I guess is acceptable in a prison. Probably, well, I don't know, is it? Probably not. That's probably how you get all the inmates to laugh at you and like terrorize you mercilessly is to probably is to cry in prison. Right, yes. And so we did this. Oh! I did not see that gate there. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, that actually made me jump. I don't mind admitting that. If it's not, then it's another Nordic country. It sounds like the kind of thing that would happen in one of those countries. They've generally got quite sensible, forward-thinking policies like that. You know. Universal basic income, for instance. Um, hiring ministers that actually have experience in the field they're overseeing. All those kinds of weird, outlandish ideas. <laughs> Yet more topical satire. Let's bring it back round to video games and fart jokes, shall we? <laughs> oh, I've got to close the gate again, right. It's alright, I know it's there this time. I know it's there. Be the best vampire film that you've watched? Are you kidding me? I've not watched any films. Um, but if I had to pick one... Have I seen any films about vampires? I don't know that I have. I don't, I've not even seen Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um... Do a save. Have I seen any? I've not watched Twilight. Like, I don't think there are great. I can't think of any. 
Throw me the names of some vampire films out, and I'll, I can uh, see if any of them ring a bell as something I've seen. Because none, none are immediately springing to mind, but I'm attributing that mostly to the fact that I don't know anything about films or cinema. Shut your mouth. You mean nothing to me. Winter Wolf is now following. Thank you so very much, Winter Wolf. I appreciate the follow. And I believe that that brings us back up to 100. Winter Wolf, you can be the new 100th follower of the channel. Congratulations. <laughs> very, very much appreciated. Thank you for, for throwing the follow down. Uh, okay, vampire films. Blade, Dark Shadows, Byzantium, Underworld, Lesbian, Vampire Kid. I've not seen any of them. I ain't seen any of them. I uh, Blade didn't even come to mind, and it probably should have done as like the most well-known vampire film, I guess. But I didn't. Didn't. You came from Discord. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much for dropping in. And for and for and for showing your support as well. I'll uh, I'll try and. I'll Come on, come on, let's put my teeth back in. I will uh, do the same. In fact, I will do that now. Let me uh, let me do the follow back. Can I literally? I can literally do that straight out of OBS. That's wonderful. There we go. Followed right back. What's that now? You join us at a crucial moment, I presume. I'm not really following the story of what's going on here. Feels like we're about to be introduced to the next member of the evil vampire cult. Nope, we were just being introduced to a lever. That's fair enough. <laughs> How are you this evening, Winter Wolf? I hope uh, I hope you are doing well. Oh, there's a couple of these bear moths knocking around, which gives us access to the giant scythes once again. What's the matter? Ooh. I saw guards running down the stairs. I've no idea, my lady. Go and find out. Is it a fire? An attack of some kind? Perhaps we should wait until someone comes and tells us. Did you hear me? Do you know who I am? Oh, she played the card. Simply escort you to the garrison. So Don't you know who I am? What is the matter? Oh, very well. Man, as soon as I can, I'm going to go and thrust my sword right into her neck. No one ever gets to play the Don't you know who I am card. Can we stealth kill these guys? It feels like a no, but we'll give it a go. Oh, you can! Van Helsing. I may have actually seen a bit of Van Helsing. I may have actually seen a bit of Van Helsing. But either A, not enough, or B, it didn't really stick out in my mind. Okay, there's another one over there. But I think we may have to take, take on this guy mano a mano. Unless I can jump kill him from afar. That might be a way forward. Because if I can come at him from behind, he ain't gonna know. That's it. Give me a long jump. Let's do it! Okay, I won't have killed him, I don't think. Were it me, I'd have gotten my massive freaking scythe out and chopped him up. Oh, he's blocking. He's doing the blocks. If you could stop, please, my friend. Maybe maybe this is one that we need to stealth kill. Maybe I need to lead him off into the mist and stealth kill him instead. Oh no, not that one though. No, no, no. I need to I need to use the mist. The mist. We need to hide. There we go. Have I ever watched Being Human on BBC Three? I've not watched Being Human. However, you have just reminded me. I did watch um, What We Do in the Shadows that was on iPlayer with uh, Dave Berry and uh, Kevin Novak. And I thought that was pretty good. You up there. Have you seen anyone pass that you haven't seen before? Yeah, keep your eyes open. Who's he Take talking to? Yeah, uh, what we do in the shadows with Kevin Novak and Dave Berry, I've seen, and I I did enjoy that. Um, but that's probably about as far as my vampiric experience goes. There we go. We got him again. 
Can I attack him now, maybe? Oh, he keeps on blocking. Maybe I need to do the same, you know? Maybe, maybe we just need to block ourselves and try and build up our special attack. Oh, no, wait, we got him. He's down. So that's fine, we can do a blood suck and replace our now broken scythe, because he broke it with his defensive arm plates. Nice, there we go. That's much better. Now we just need to work out how to press on forwards. Haven't seen that one? Uh, it's quite good. It's like a uh, sort of spoof mockumentary of a group of vampires living in a house in, an, in America but trying to get by as sort of normal humans. Um, it, 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 it is very good. And then they've got a familiar who's desperate to become a vampire himself, but the family just keep on finding excuses not to um, impart the dark gift unto him. Where do I go from here? I can't go anywhere. Being human is similar, but not comedy based. Uh, I see. Hmm. I'm feeling something to do with this in the middle here. This feels like a big focal point, but I'm not really getting anything. A ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf living together. I think I've heard the premise before. I may have seen it advertised, but never actually settled down to watch it. <laughs> a ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf were in a house together. The ghost comes in to the werewolf one morning and says, Hello! And the wolf says, How are you doing? And the ghost says, Oh, not Bootad, thank you. Look, okay, they weren't great, but they were the best I could come up with on the fly, alright? That's as good as you're gonna get. Is it something to do with these? These look movable. <laughs> no, Badnik! Okay, they're not movable. Something with these, though, actually. I think it is, but I can't... I can't work out what, because there's, their flags are pointed up, but I feel like their flags should be pointed down. I don't know how to change their flags to be pointing down. Oh, yeah, we got the charm gift now. We don't need to worry about any of that. Can I charm the behemoth down here? Doesn't look like it. I think he's too powerful for us. Yeah, it's not biting. Okay. Is there somebody in here that I can charm the pants off of? <gasps> there is! Hello up there. Gaze into that haunted face once more. As this man does our evil bidding. Wherefore do we go as you, my friend? You have to reveal the way to us somehow. There's another bear moth right there. Ah, I see that lever there. That's got something to do... Oh, he ran out of vision. I'm not quite sure how, but he did. Where's he gone? Oh, he's running back. Excuse me, sir. I wish to charm the pants off you. And you shall let me do so. Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, not that way. we got to go this way to pull the lever. Yes. Thank you, good sir. Is there anything else we can... Okay, there's some stuff that way that he's not interested in looking at. 
And I think that'll do us. We did it. We are geniuses of our own making. The world doesn't always give us what we want, but sometimes it gives us what we need. To paraphrase the philosopher Jagger. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, look, there's me. That's me being felled. You can't always get what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. To paraphrase. <laughs> okay. The bear moth's over there. I think he's coming for us. Yeah, he seems interested. Time to die. Exactly. You can't always get what you want, but sometimes if you try, you get what you need. Come on in, my friend. Alright, let's get let's get the fury swipes out again. We may need it. Oh, look at that! An acrobatic flourish in the air also. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Alright, we need to feed. We're running out of health. Ooh. Wibble wibble. Checkpoint. I see that. I see the noble right here. I feel like it would be a cool touch if you sucked the blood of the nobles and it came out of them blue. Aha, uh -huh, you are but a blue-blooded noble of the realm, good sir. Taste my scythe. And enjoy your afterlife. Um, what the f... <laughs> I was not doing that. We were sucking blood from the chest of a soldier type guy. I'll kill this guy and we'll do it again. <laughs> Good to see you this evening, Tav. How are you? Hope you're doing alright, other than the uh, myriad of perplexing emotions you may be feeling now. It's okay. Oh, what a strike. See, look, now he's dead. As you'll see, I'm just sucking blood from probably about the mid-torso area. Just just like here, just... Sucking the blood right out of him. We are but a simple vampire, and we have to do what we can to ensure we survive. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do, and what we gotta do ain't nice. It's just the way it is. Not everything in this world is sunshine and roses. Sometimes it's hello. Greetings, vampire. You have mistaken me, madam, for some thing I am not. <laughs> Don't waste my time. You <laughs> stand there and go, I'm not a vampire. With that armor and that scythe. Speak then, madam. The woman you seek is held in one of the upper towers. Very good. How do I get to her? Not so fast. You will need to pass this ward gate, and you will need me to open it for you. Then do so at once. <laughs> In due time. First, there is another task that must be completed. What task? A nobleman of some importance is visiting the keep at this moment. He must be killed. So that you may open the ward gate. Do you think me a fool? Open it! He must be killed, I tell you. He is a traitor. He has done immeasurable harm to the Cabal. I swear it. Do I look like a common assassin? The ward gate will be <laughs> until that man is dead. I promise you. His name is Artemis. You will know him by his blue cloak. When he is dead, when his lying tongue has been stopped, I will open this gate and not before. Will you do it? Apparently, I have no choice. Go. Kill him, Cain. <laughs> Rip out his cruel heart. Return when the deed is done. Uh -huh. Fine as you were then, woman. Uh, always trying to set up a return to streaming and work out how to record OBS. Uh, for YouTube, you, like direct to YouTube or just like recording videos to upload to YouTube? Because I can probably help with that. I use OBS for YouTube. I use OBS for everything. So I'm just literally going to take the... Whilst we're streaming here, it's also recording. And I'm just going to upload the... 
video that it records to. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, yeah that's should be relatively simple. I, might, I may be able to help you with that. We'll, um, we'll arrange, a, arrange a Discord at some point or another to go uh, go through that if you want. I might be able to help out. Uh, also, so called vamps don't make me feel happy with my heritage. These are. I don't believe these are traditional vampires. In, uh. <laughs> uh, they're, cer they're certainly not the ones that I'm used to, not the way I'm used to vampires being depicted. However, as we've already established, I haven't seen much vampire media, so I'm uh, probably not the best person to ask for what a proper depiction of a vampire is. However, if it is something like this, then sign me up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a very unflattering camera angle. <laughs> and here he is. Artemis, your body is mine. You think your behemoths will stop me? You are wrong, sir. Your time has come. And there it goes. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Shake, shake. Skip over the fact that I am from Transylvania. Is this, uh, is this how, how they're depicted? I don't know if this is a traditional Transylvanian vampire depiction. I feel like the traditional Transylvania vampire depiction is your kind of... Uh, what's his name? Like your Vincent Price kind of tall... Like your Christopher Lee depiction. Your tall, slicked back hair. Big cloak. That's the traditional depiction as opposed to... This gargantuan pale mountain with horrific scythe. Hell bent on murdering anything that. Oh, he fell. I shall not die. You shall be the one to perish this evening. Is KFC Crush'em Straws involved due to the girth and ease of sucking? <laughs> what do, dare I ask what the Transylvanian vampires did before KFC Crush'ems? <laughs> They're handsome and very alluring. They are... they certainly were. I mean, in the traditional depiction they are, absolutely. I don't know if the vampires in this game are... Handsome and alluring. McDonald's. <laughs> Did anyone else? Right. I don't I don't I feel like I wasn't alone in this, but you know when you get a McFlurry from McDonald's, right? And they give you the spoon and the spoon's got the huge hole in the top. I can't have been the only one to try and suck the ice cream through the end of the spoon. Like you put your mouth over like the open square end and you try and suck through the spoon end of the spoon. I can't have been the only one. I mean, obviously it makes sense because the other end of the spoon isn't open, so you would never be able to suck anything up. And also, why you'd want to do that anyway, I don't know, because then you'd get none of the topping and that. But it, it... That felt like the natural thing to do with a McFlurry when I was younger. It was only as I got older and saw them... And saw them making it once that I realised they heave the spoon in... They, use that hole in the spoon to mix the actual McFlurry together. But I don't know if I was just a moronic child or... Oh, he's got the giggles, this one! See what you make of the giggles, my friend. <laughs> this game is so, so satisfying. It's unbelievable. You weren't, but people that tried that were special. Thank you. <laughs> there, there. There, there. Why would you want to suck ice cream is the real question. Well, this is true. This is my argument against, like, some... Not sundaes, but, um... What are the other ones? Smoothies? Or, like, the, the thick milkshakes. Like, why? That's so much effort to drink. Like, you just... Just drink the milkshake. 
Oh, Optimus, we meet again. Holds back the sucking ice cream jokes. Uh, no, feel free. I'd like to maintain a relatively family-friendly stream, but at the same time, we're playing this monstrosity of a game that can't really be described as being remotely family-friendly. <laughs> I, I enjoy a good ice cream sucking joke as much as the next man. Wait, hang on a minute. That's, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Terms of service won't let me. <laughs> I won't tell. Even the hard shakes. Always need a hard shake. Ban. <laughs> Honestly, if the if the admins of if the if the kings of Twitch terms of service are watching this, then I I don't know. Surely there are more important things for them to be doing, like I don't know, brushing their teeth or li literally anything other than being here as a as a lowly as a lowly streamer. <laughs> of uh, not a grand amount of significance at the moment. I'm sure they could find better things to be doing with their time. <laughs> I shall do no such thing. Taste mine instead, for it is better. My blade has been made with love. That's what Sterling on Hell's Kitchen told me. Anything that's made with love is better than anything else. This guy is unstoppable. Oh! He... He got angry and charged at me. Keep it 100. Absolutely. Sit the hell down, my friend. Yeah, you're right to run. I'll come for you in a minute. On a real note, how many people just stirred the ice cream to the turn to lot and eat it like soup? That... That is relatively grim. <laughs> However, I am not totally innocent of that. I'd never do it in public though, that was like that was like if I had a bowl of ice cream at home, then I would kind of like, melt it down a little bit to eat it. But I'd never melt it down to a point of drinking it. That is weird. Risotto, risotto, capellini, I'm hot! <laughs> McDonald's would last, last long enough to get home. My McDonald's these days consists of a 20 box of chicken nuggets because I am an adult who has lost all control of his life. <laughs> uh, it's not good. However, yeah, exactly. Joke of joke of the century right there. Share box. I I don't willingly necessarily share my my twenty box. Because we'd get a load of them after work, because there's a McDonald's literally around the corner from us that would be open till three AM. And so we'd get a heap of them in. And I'd be like, Oh Nick, can I have some of your nuggets? I'd be like no, there's three boxes here. Get your own. <laughs> these are my 20. I worked hard for these. <laughs> your choice of sauces are less than desirable. What can I say? I'm a simple man. I like ketchup. Ain't nothing wrong with ketchup. It's just the way it is. I'm sure the others are perfectly fine, but I'm just not too interested. I, uh, I'm a creature of habit. I'm a simple creature of habit, man. And I like my ketchup. Ketchup belongs on hot dogs and that's it. It does belong on hot dogs. You give me a mustard hot dog and then we're going to have some problems. But, in fact, if you give me a mustard anything then it's fine. Which, which fast food place does the best fries? Just seeing Noob's mum's comment there. Who does the best fries? That's the ultimate question. <laughs> How do I look down? Is it just that man there, I think? Just daintily float down. 
Everything seems fine. It's just this guy here who's been left to guard the place. We might be able to get a, a get a jump on to do some additional early damage. Yeah, that's what you want. And then you want to switch out to Fury ready for the grand attack. Come on then, Chuckles. Give me what you got. I'm ready. I can take it. He did. McDonald's, no doubt, or Arby's. What's Arby's? I don't know. I don't know if we have Arby's here in the UK. I'm not massively familiar with uh, like North American fast food chains. I think the only thing, the only one I really know, other than like the others, is Wendy's. Oh! Oops! What did I do? I didn't cause a whole heap of danger for myself. Um, I think it's Wendy's that has the slogan. Is it Wendy's that has... Is it Wendy's that does the square burgers? And I think their catchphrase is like, We don't like to cut corners. That's why our burgers are square. Or something like that. I've now got to put up with this alarm noise while we're here, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> Five guys, you know, because it actually tastes like it came from a potato. <laughs> I do like Five Guys fries. That sounds like that Snoop Dogg Just Eat advert. Five Guys fries, right? <laughs> okay, we've... We're away from the alarm for the time being. That doesn't help me much. Can I go back and turn the wheel? No. Alright, well now what? Is there someone I can charm? No. Hmm. Did somebody say just eat? Oh, the ladder. Here we go. Popeyes. I don't think I've ever had Popeyes either. Never heard of Five Guys. Five Guys is... um, It's a, a burger chain that... Uh, they... Try, they're trying to specialise in doing like American style American diner style burgers I guess is probably the way to do it um, and the thing is like for me I don't really rate their burgers I've had many better burgers than the ones you get at Five Guys but they're they are ridiculously known for their fries on account of the fact that you never need to order more than a small portion because they not only give you the portion of fries, they then just stuff a whole nother scoop of fries into the bag. So you have a literal mountain of fries under which your burger is buried. And the fries themselves are very good. But the, the burgers aren't too much. Try not to hum songs. DMCA is picking up weight on Twitch. Oh, get picked up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to struggle so much. <laughs> I sing and hum all the time. It seems no longer I can get away on the fact of me being completely tone deaf. <laughs> it's somebody say just eat. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do now. Every time I sing a song is just to drop it like several octaves. And maybe change up some of the lyrics a bit so it doesn't actually fit. Is nothing sacred anymore? DMCA, leave my parodies alone. That's like 60% of my brand. <laughs> We got the meat. Funny thing is they cut down how much meat you get. It used to be a huge pile of meat on the... That sounds very delicious. Oh, pardon me, sir. I don't believe anyone is allowed up here. You see, we believe there may be a uh, vampire on the premises. 
The guards have locked all the doors, and the upstairs lever is acting a bit spotty. Bloody thing keeps resetting itself. I would just return downstairs. Look at this guy. He's only looking out for us. He's a I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. It's just no one should really be up here because there's a vampire around. Um, and you don't want to be mistaken for one. So you better pop yourself back downstairs just in case anyone further up up here thinks you are a vampire. What are you? What are you? His voice changed. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm terribly sorry, but there's a there's a vampire. You're not allowed up here. What are you? <laughs> a vampire, you say? We need to watch a Devin Nash video on it, where he shows that he can pick things up like that in three seconds. Again, I would say the same thing about the, uh, the Twitch terms of service. If Just Eat are wanting to file a suit against me for advertising their Snoop Dogg advert, they have, they've run out of things to do with their time. If you play three copyright songs in a row, you can legit get permabanned on Twitch in ten minutes. Okay. I, uh, I'm making flippant jokes, but it, it is very serious. I know it is, but they got better things to be doing. What opened and why did I miss it? <laughs> this is the thing, like, so... Because they, there was, and I've not seen much sign of them now, but there was like a whole heap of streamers who would play games like Guitar Hero and stuff like that. And their entire channel and therefore their entire job now just ceases to exist because you've, because of stuff like DMCA, they're now not allowed to do that. However, I have been led to believe that like there are some bands and music creators and stuff like that that are flying the flag. Let's get it. For instance, like Dragon Force, I know for a fact. Well, I seem to remember hearing that they were like, you know, keep keep using our songs. That's cool. We don't mind. We're, which which is kind of cool. I think because especially like. A few of the members of Dragon Force are on Twitch anyway. Like Herman Lee is on Twitch. He just plays Dragon Force songs on his guitar and stuff like that. I think it was. I think he said it on a stream. I was like, he was like, well, DMCA sucks. If you want to like use Dragon Force's not use Dragon Force's songs, but for instance, if you are playing them on Guitar Hero, for instance, then that's totally cool. They're not going to pursue that because. Why would they? They made their whole last album on Twitch. They literally recorded the whole thing on Twitch with like chat input and stuff like that. And it is an absolute banger. It's such a good album. Start to finish. Brilliant. Um, I, think, I think it's called Ultimate Power Metal or something like that. And it is fantastic. Well, well worth a listen to. Especially because there is a incredible cover of My Heart Will Go On on there that needs to be heard to be believed. <laughs> Let's charm this guy right up. Alright. Where do I go with this man? Presumably just to pull the lever right here, maybe? Dragon Force are bros, though. They, they, they seem that way. They seem that way. Haha. -ha. Oh, your head hurts. Allow me to put you out of your misery, friend. Quite literally. <laughs> I feel like part of the main danger is where does, like, the video game's music start and a DMCA claim begin? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, obviously the music happening in the game right here is part of the game. And part of Twitch is 
you know, streaming video games and the experience of playing video games and part of the experience of playing video games, hey, <laughs> is uh, is the soundtrack and stuff. So like, I mean, I guess this is what Tab was saying about people having to delete nine years worth of videos and stuff. Is maybe there will come a point where the this video here will be against Twitch's terms of service, and I've got to take it down just purely because there's a little bit of background music. But it's part of the game experience, which is what Twitch is supposed to be geared towards. You know, I know I know it's diversified a lot over the years. As I just said, Herman Lee doing music streams, Dragon Force creating an entire album over Twitch and stuff like that. But it's uh I'm probably gonna use this phrase wrong, but it feels like they're cutting their nose to spite their face. A little bit, but there we go. A game like GTA, yes, yeah, yeah. So GTA, I would totally, I would totally understand, and that's that's been the case for GTA for a very long time. I don't, even, I think even YouTube was fully clamping down on that since its inception. Oh my goodness! Look at this guy. Yes, sir. I got the cell. Move out. So this guy pulled his two guards away from their guard duty to tell them to go and guard something. They were just guarding the courtyard and he pulled them over and was like, Go and guard the courtyard! They're like, yeah, alright. That's literally the reason we're paid and that is what we're doing. Oh, we've not seen that one before! <laughs> But yeah, GTA I can totally understand. But I'm guessing there must be something within like a, a video game's license or something like that that permits music to be played. I don't know, because then you start moving into the whole kind of... There was a whole heap a while ago, and Nintendo were big purveyors for this, where they were like, well, it's our game, it's our content. If you're going to make videos of our content, then we're going to take the money for it. And I know that Nintendo were very... Hot on that. Don't do it! Oh, he did it. Which I kind of get, I suppose, in a way, but like... I know the big argument at the time from Let's Players and streamers was like, we're providing free advertising, free to the company advertising for your game. Like, we're not doing any harm. Let's just, you know, just... Leave us alone, man. Leave us alone. On another note, how long before needing the toilet do you think they have to go to the toilet to derobe for the task at hand? How long before... How long do you... How... Oh, I see. Like, how much warning do they need? They're like, right, well, I may need the toilet in about half an hour, so I better go and derobe now so that by the time I get all of my armour off. <laughs> I, um... I don't know, it looks like it'd be a pretty intensive job, especially this guy here with the claws and the spikes. It feel like it'd be a pretty intense job to go to the toilet. Is I'm imagining it's not just a case of lifting up his cape and going, you know what I mean? <laughs> can I can we go in with a sneaky jump first? Can we get the jump on him? Maybe. Oh, he started glowing, but we got him. That's good. I'm thinking we may need to go in with a Fury swipe first. That's it. Get it in there. Now he is glowing, so we aren't really able to use our mist attack here. So we've just got to kind of go in there. Oh, dang it. I dropped my guard. I'm thinking maybe the only way to attack this guy is going to be with the fury attack. He did! Super simple. Imagine if they had the <laughs> if they had an armoured butt flap. <laughs> oh, but then that's simple. All you've got to do is lift the cape, lower the flap, lift the cape again because the cape will come down. So it'll just be a case of and then down you go. Simple, right? <laughs> I imagine. Now, oh, our side is going to break, so let's take the Freaking broadsword here. And this is gonna do us some good. I can feel it. 
Did I did I drain this guy? I did. All right. Let's go. Oh wait, the thing's going the way I didn't plan for it to. Oh no, wait, actually, maybe that was good. It has, it's dropped the gate, opened the door, and here are the people. Oh, there is, there is, there's Uma. That's what all this heartache and trouble has been for. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. I thought no one would dare attempt to rescue me. You are either brave or foolish. You will find me <laughs> He didn't care if they stunk, so no need for the bathroom. Fair point. Back in these times, it didn't matter. Nearby that powers the ward. Find it and shut it down. But then again, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to have to try and wash a set of chainmail out of all that. I am freed. What would you do in my place, King? I would offer my rescuer a token of trust. That information is for Borador only. Haven't I earned your confidence yet? You have not rescued me yet. Very well. I will return shortly. Oh, what a cunning wench she is. She's like, I have rescued you. Have I not earned your trust? And you haven't rescued me yet. There's a glyph that powers the gates. I'm wondering if it's this one right here. And do we need to perhaps race this back? No. No, that's not going to do it. We don't need to race that back. We need to do something else. Some them videos where they push the shaving foam through various things like Crocs and Strangers. Oh, that sounds... That just sounds horrible. I don't even want to watch that. Oh. Ugh. It's like you see them videos of like the 16 most satisfying things ever. And uh, like, some of them are, don't get me wrong, some of them are phenomenally satisfying, but... At the same time, they're like... <laughs> Some of them are just really weird. The definition of chaotic energy. Do I go this way? No. I can't activate the lever again. This is such a wide open space. I feel like I'm missing something in this courtyard, but... It takes a while for the signal to reach the second green barrier, so maybe try that. That's what I did try, I thought. There is that lever up there. Did we did we actually pull this? I think we did. I think that just opened up the gate below us. Let's try something else. Hey! Did I pull this? I saw something sparkle. I'm sure I saw something sparkle. Turn the front door barrier off, then rush back. See, like, so it's off at the moment. Yeah, it's that, it's that switch outside that's doing it. So what I need is to just be quick. But I can't outrun that. Like, it's already on. Admittedly, that wasn't my finest run, but... It was already on by the time I got there. Can't run any faster than the way I'm going, unless I can do both simultaneously and that will run it but no it's already on it's already on that was just too slow that one maybe turn the front door on then off and rush back right Okay, so the front door is on. 
and then if we turn it off, we then got to run all the way around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, don't get caught, and they're, they're on. Meanwhile, she's just in the cell going... Well, I mean, she's not because she's like that. She's just going... <laughs> Someone that we can charm. I need to. Can I, can I just charm her? Probably not, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see the marks. I see the marks. I see the mark on the floor. <laughs> I see it. That was as that was all it took. Oh wait, this this opened up the wrong side. This isn't any help at all. Can I move this more? No. Well, how how is this of any use to me? Tell you it's not. Oh <gasps> yeah, that's how it's useful. You're absolutely right. Now it's off, and we can just go in. We can just go around the outside. Easy. Good job, chat. That was all you. Harder than the last puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. We must get to the roof. Once I am outside these ensorcelled walls, I can use a spell to transport us back to Sanctuary. This had better not be a babysitting quest now. No! At last. What oh. <laughs> It's like watching a badly dubbed kung fu film. <laughs> so, Reaver, the prize I had won a lifetime ago was in his foul possession. What is this? You know me. No. You're right. You're right, Tav. So easily, your name was drowned in the backwaters of passing time. All your plans were set alight and seared to smoke and ashes. Let those words be your epitaph. I love the voice acting so much. That fantasy was quenched in blood long ago when I defeated you. And yet, you have learned nothing. Turn dialogue volume up a bit. Uh, I can turn game volume up. Challenge me again. But dialogue is not a separate option. It's fated at my hands. How many times must I teach you that lesson? He is too strong for you, Cain. With the soul weaver, he can kill us both. We must flee and fight him when we are stronger. No, release me. That demon of filth is mine. I think she's right. I think we should run. Maybe this was why it was such a big open area. His weakness is the buffer. <laughs> can follow orders when it suits me. We met the Seraphan Lord. He showed himself? He is a touch more powerful than I expected. And he has the <laughs> soul, Reaver. Strange that you did not tell me this at first. You are not ready to fight the Seraphan Lord. I told you that. It was only by good fortune that we escaped. Well, Bordor, someone's woken I up. I must speak with you. You have information for us, I know. You may speak. I was in the heart of the main factory in the industrial quarter. Before the gods discovered me, I had found a huge central chamber that housed some kind of magic portal. This portal looked into a place the likes of which I had never seen before. And this portal was held open by a single source of magic, a stone set on a pedestal. Borador, I believe it was... The Nexus Good Stone. Good God, lady, put some clothes Nexus on. Stone. <laughs> of course. What is this thing? 
Explain. The Nexus Stone is an item of great power. It can bend time and space to create doorways to any location within Nazgoth. I know not why the Seraphan Lord would be using it within the Industrial Quarter, but we could put it to great use. And what use is that? One who wears the stone cannot be harmed by the Soul Reaver. And is this but a legend, to be proved false at the fatal moment? Oh no, no legend at all. It has been proven. The Seraphan Lord wore the stone when he defeated you 200 years ago. What? How else could he have resisted the power of the Soul Reaver? You were unable to use the sword's power, and without it, he was able to defeat you. Then I shall take the stone and use it to kill him. But know this, when I recover it, I will also claim ownership of it. I trust that is understood. Then you commit yourself to fighting the Seraphan Lord? There can be no turning back. I was committed to that from the moment you revived me. Nothing will turn me away. So be it. You must use the subway to reach the industrial quarter, which lies in the northeastern part of the city. Find your way past the gate that blocks the townspeople from entering. But perhaps we may leave that to your invention. Uma? Once in the quarter, look for the main factory complex. It is there that the stone is held. I will return with the Nexus Stone and the Seraphan Lord's head. <laughs> Cut out of existence. I left the relative safety of Sanctuary and ventured once more into the night. The industrial quarter of Meridian was, I discovered, a heavily guarded fortress. Rather I'm sorry, I can't hear you over all the industrial machinery. I into the workers' commons and began my quest for the Nexus Stone there. What's this place called? The, the Sea Buggy? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, give me power? Thank you. Perfect. This is a great opportunity to save... Because it's been a it's been a it's been a moment. What do we? I think it would hurt if she tried to touch her toes. The <laughs> underwear is like in line with her lungs. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, I, I can't touch my toes. Stood up. I really can't. <laughs> I can make it down to about my knees. I reckon. I totally unflexible. This is, this is worth finding out actually. I don't know if there's a point in the room where you can see the entirety of me. I don't think there is. Maybe all the way back here, I guess. Probably all the way back here. Um, but I, I can't... Oh, oh, I did better than I thought. I can kind of get toward my ankles. But um, certainly, certainly not my toes. That, that day is long, long gone. <laughs> Loosen your underwear. <laughs> It's alright, I'm still recovering from layers of fear. My underwear is still relatively loose. <laughs> uh, you're close. I am close, but alas, the cigar is absent. Let us begin. Oh, we've lost our giant scythe. Oh, man. Well, that's okay. We'll just have to figure out and... Figure out and find a new weapon. These... Ward guards about than ever these days. Seen two of the bastards yesterday and three today. Ooh, they make my flesh crawl. Can they talk? I never heard them. Why so many of them nowadays? Well, they must be here for our protection. Hmm. I I enjoy the inc incidental dialogue so much. Oh, Matt, she went down in one. No, she didn't. What? Why do you get to survive? I tell you, you don't. Get out of here. She's still alive? She's still alive! She's indestructible. Not for long, though. <laughs> A little bit more sucky sucky. I mean, no, no, wait. Oh, no. No. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I... This is not that kind of stream. This is a good family-friendly stream. 
Damn it. Oh, is that a... Oh, what is this? We've not had this weapon before. It's like a scimitar. What is this machine they've got going on here? I don't know. Do we get any cool kills for this lady here? Pretty cool. She survived that? What the? <laughs> you? My goodness, woman. I wish I had stomach muscles like that. Good gravy. Imagine surviving an attack like that. Alright, we need to sort some stuff out here. I don't know where that's going. I don't think it's going to the right spot, though. I think we need to change the dial. And then do it that way. She is one tough cookie. She's the... Oh, no, tough. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, that 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 one's gonna that one's gonna hang over me for a little while. <laughs> oh no, there's an there's another there's another scythe lord over there. We shall need to be wary. Ah, now I feel at home, back behind the bar. Although this is a very unreasonable bar. It feels very tall. <laughs> what even is that? That's like a vodka optic, I guess. I don't know little bit of bartender chat for all those out there who may be missing their missing work. I know I am. <laughs> awesome job I missed. It. Oh no. Peaceful helpless ape Ming Li. Was it that also feels like a relatively suitable suitable link as well. The randomly generated URL kind of Kind of came through for us there. <laughs> Come on, giggles. It's fine. I don't mind losing the scimitar for the scythe. Because the scythe has got far cooler kills. And just looks more incredible on our back. Now where's this peasant who's moaning and screaming all the time? I hear you. Don't think I don't. Your time is coming. <laughs> oh no. I'm... I am excited to watch that at the end of the stream. <laughs> oh, hey. Anything up there? No. That's fine. Alright, so this is where I actually need to divert power. Upstairs, I presume. Ah, yes. Now, this way should be open for us. And sure enough. Wonderful. Gosh. All this squeaking. Ah, a checkpoint. Making the most of it. Because now I've saved, I can say, the game's holding up surprisingly well. It hasn't crashed once this entire stream. What, are you? what am I? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, 
I love that kill so much. So much fun. Where'd the other guy go? I know you exist. Here you are. Doctor, doctor, I've got a splitting headache. I uh, You do now. <laughs> oh man, look at that 2002 water texture right there. Man, gaming's come a long, long way. <laughs> That's some, uh, that's some top quality water animation. <laughs> yeah, just poke that there. I shall do. I ain't afraid. The only thing we stand to lose is our giant scythe. Oh, now she's ready. She's wearing less clothes than Uma. What'd she put it away for? That's probably the worst way to win a fight, you know? She ain't letting me pick her up by the neck, though. Oh, she's a minx. Taste my colossal side. <laughs> Jesus, is that taped on? <laughs> oh, she coming in hot, though. I swear, if you end up breaking my side, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, oh, oh. Got to try and get a modest angle for her there. That was mildly unflattering. My sincere apologies. Ah. Jacob's Ladder. I shall gratefully ascend. As is my way. You keep saying scythe. I don't scythe. I don't think that word means what you think it does. Well, I know, like, this isn't exactly a scythe. The scythe is the long, the long blade on top of... Ah! A level up. That I wasn't ready for again. The scythe is, like, the long blade on on the end of the long stick. It's what the Grim Reaper has, and this is... But what else do you call this? What is this weapon? I either need to go giant scythe or colossal hand axe. And I'm not sure... Actually, colossal hand axe sounds... A lot. Poleaxe. Yeah, all that. <laughs> There's a colossal hand axe. Sounds wonderful. Were you fallen? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Uma tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be okay, so it will be deactivated and we need to find the glyph. To I sense the presence of another vampire close by. Ooh. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. You know we're going in. I tried to grab her and missed. Now she's got a friend coming to join the party. I am finished. One of you is going to get fury swiped. And it's going to be you! Haha, <laughs> she didn't see that coming. She broke the scythe. Come on, this isn't fair now. Kane. Oh my god. Is this the end for our heroic anti-vampire? Or our anti-heroic vampire? Is probably the phrase I was looking for. Just... No! This is the end of our anti-heroic vampire. Have I got to watch the cutscene again? Don't let me watch the cutscene again. Will you follow? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, 
F. Thank you. Yeah. Umar tells me the Nexus Stone will be now I've got to do all that hard work without the hand sight, the colossal pole axe of justice. If this is deactivated, you must look below. The upside down Illuminati pyramid on his butt. Uh oh. We got something to look out for now. The cutscene became more interesting. I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Well, I mean, this is incentive not to screw it up, because I don't want to watch this for a third time. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, not, not entirely incorrect. Alright, let's do it right this time. Oh, I have plenty of time to react to that, and I did not. That was on me. Okay, while well, she's down, you come in for the other one. There you go. She's all right. Just keep on going. Keep going, Kane. That's it. And now around. That's it. Do some blocking. Good. Block up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what we're doing this time, Kane. Don't spoil this now. We're on to one now. She's down. She's out of it. Good. They're all. They're both out. We pick up the sword. Oops. Well, I hope that doesn't have any serious repercussions going forward. <laughs> Yo, that's not a bad idea. Can I charm them and fight as them? Well, uh, um, hi. I would like, if I may, to be able to make it back up there, so that I may suck their blood and do some healing, Kane. Never mind butter fingers. This guy is butter toes. Sound like a boxer's coach. <laughs> Sometimes that's the only way to get some success. Oh, I've still got to climb higher. Yeah, look, that, that was really high. That was a expensive mistake there. I'm wondering if we should, we should just maybe load and try again. Can I long jump over to there, perhaps? I can. This is fine, but now I need to climb higher upwards. Maybe I can do a jump over to here, and maybe this will let us get back up to the bridge. Okay, that's a relief. All is not lost. Okay, this time, pick up the sword without falling off the bridge and suck the blood without plummeting to an unfortunate time sink. If this was GDQ, then I would probably reset the run. <laughs> oh, because that was not a speedrun strap right there. Oh, and you know what? We can't even do anything else up here anyway. Because I needed to flick a, flick a lever down below to be able to do anything up here. Okay, well, that's fine. We know there's a bonus crate over there, so maybe I should have tried to get over there. I can't move anymore. Did you see what? Didn't see anything. Let's go up for that bonus crate. I could use some more XP. And then over to that one. There we go. Oh, it's one of the it's one of the ones that's full of XP as well. It's got a load. If this was GDQ, you'd have clipped through the floor to the final boss. That is also true. <laughs> and I wouldn't have done it on purpose. I'd have been sat here like, yeah, this is uh, this is the marathon safe strat that we use. Um, recently, a new trick was discovered that cuts about 12 minutes off of the total game time, but it is very, very high risk. 
So, uh, I, uh, I may not try it here. Because it is a marathon setting. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't charm enemies. I can only charm the simpletons. Makes sense, I guess. There's no disrespect to GDQ, by the way. I absolutely adore speedruns. I think they're phenomenally talented people. It's just a lot of the runners do have similar mannerisms. <laughs> it's a really horrible, like, grating noise here that I'm assuming is supposed to be ambient and part of the factory, but it's really, really jarring. I feel like it may be kind of loud as well, so I'm just crunching it down a little bit. But... The Fallout 3 one, that was insane. On Fallout 3. It was literally just over and out. She didn't know. Now she knows, though, and she's a super fighter. Native Bagel, hi! Good to see you. How are you doing this fine evening? Or whatever time of day it happens to be where you are. I hope you're doing alright. As alright as current times will allow you to do. I've just remembered that that's Connor from work. <laughs> not that that... Not that that... Dumbs down the greeting in any way. But that was my full on... Ah, oh, stranger from the internet greeting. And I was like, ah... Oh. I know you from work. <laughs> I love you, Connor. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I hope you are doing all right. Hope you're in. Uh, hope you're enjoying the uh, the furloughed time. It's a me, the native bagel. Ho, ho, ho. That was a stranger from the internet mod, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Whoa! I didn't realise that was a weapon. Oh, hang on a minute. Things just changed. What have we got now? We got, we got like a Darth Maul saber? Oh, man, I need something to try this out on. Hello. <gasps> it is! Alright, well, there's only... There's only one... One thing to do here. Uh, let's... Can you get out of the wall a little bit? Oh, he died. He died from the throw. That's fine. Alright. Uh, oh, I forgot the button. Oh, no. Did he die? He died too. Dang it. Okay, well, as soon as we can get something for for this weapon, I am going to test it out to the max. It's boring, but I've, you've... Act <sighs> How have you given yourself a black eye? Please tell me it's at least a mildly embarrassing story. Because if it is, then I will tell you the story of how my mum gave herself a black eye once. And that is also suitably embarrassing. <laughs> how have you given yourself a black eye, Connor? You've not even been in work. I am feeling a lot better as well. The last time Connor saw me, I was feeling a very much worse for wear because, well, it was the last day of work, and uh, you know there was a, there was a lot of extra stock that needed to be gotten rid of. So, you know, clearing out my nan's house and walked into a wardrobe. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I mean. There's two ways that that sentence read. That sentence reads like you walked into the... Like you were clearing out the house and you just kind of literally walk into a wardrobe. 
or like you just kind of walked into a wardrobe <laughs> and then while it was dark you hit something I said and then while it was dark you hit something and <laughs> gave yourself a black eye <laughs> oh dear never mind um <laughs> Was it Macaulay Culkin's fault? <laughs> Those pesky clothes poles. Pesky clothes pole. My my mum gave herself a black eye by smacking herself in the face with the uh, with the phone once. She literally just went to pick up the phone and just went <laughs> straight in the eye, <laughs> like a full on black eye from a phone receiver. The door was open, turned around into the corner of it. You plum. <laughs> Oh, suddenly we're in like World War Two. Wait, where did the music go? Come on, music! I, I turned the game audio up for this. There it is. It's very faint. You can't hear it over the steam. Never mind. Oh, he knew. Oh, he knew. He came straight out. I was fiddling with the audio again. Suppose you don't have a black eye from dropping the phone on your face. What do you mean I don't belong around here? Oh, these guys ain't having none of it. They don't care about the mist. Kane! Oh, it's over. It's over. And we're gonna lose our double sword as well. I need help. Let me out. Oh, it's a one-way door. Fine, whatever. Uh, I can't, you can't charm enemies. Oh, good. Alright, well, buckle in. Connie, you ain't seen this cutscene yet. Everyone else has, so strap in. These humans never look twice in that direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Their future lord now, walks among tell them. Tell me of this place. What, what, what ill does this bode for the future the lord when the I. This is the third go. Still, at least we can get that double sword back. Is deactivated. Can't charm the enemies. For the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is. It's alright, I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut Once these cutscenes out of the VOD. There's no point watching this three times on YouTube. Actually you can just skip ahead. Just just skip ahead ten minutes. If you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, then uh, you're in it for the long haul. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So. Charm. Will you let me charm this one here? No, she doesn't have it. You see, I can't... I can't do it. She is unflatterable. So we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Which is to just rinse them with claws. Illuminati button, tape on underwear. That is a Dragon's Den pitch if ever I've heard one. Oh, good try, my dear, but it failed. Oh, she came in with the special attack that I wasn't prepared for. Kane, can you, like, behave? I disagree. Oh, just, just end it. No, no, I can't end it because there's that freaking cutscene. Are we done? No, not yet. Get. Right, be gone. Fine, safe, good. Can't be trying to. <laughs> I started playing Dishonored. I, you know, I tried to be playing the first Dishonored actually a little while ago, and um, I definitely need to give it the time of day again because it is. It's a very solid game, and it is right up my street in terms of wanting to play an anti-hero and just be evil and do sinister things. Um, my original playthrough of it, I got the worst ending. I think the game came up with a new ending on the fly for how badly I'd played. Oh, good job, Kane. Good grab. 
So I would like to try and play it again just to be better. <laughs> it's a very, very, uh, very consistent motto of my life. <laughs> Enjoying it so far. It is. It is a good game. It is a good game. I never played the second or any of the uh, the DLCs, so I don't know what they're like. Um, but I would like to very much play the first one. And also, the first time I played the first one, I had a pretty lame computer compared to what I've got now. So it'd be good to actually play it the way it was intended. Right, let's go for the super attack. That wasn't what I was after. I thought there was like a... I was maybe there was a way to use the sword that would have like absolutely decimated him, but doesn't seem to be giving me much in the way of that for the moment. Just seen you hit 100 followers. Sure have, sure have. We're in the triple figures, which is a very very nice place to be. the The next job is to begin to convert those followers into. Viewers, and uh, and then hopefully subs as well. So it's, it's all in the game plan. Okay, we got her. Oh the! Oh. He just did her through the brain, and she got up. But yeah, 100 followers uh, happened yesterday. And then during yesterday's stream, I dropped down to 99. <laughs> but then today it's gone back up to 100. So it's all good. It's all good. We now just need to keep the train rolling, continue the growth. And now's the perfect time to do it. I can't work. I can't go anywhere. I can't see anybody. So I may as well just sit in front of my computer and talk to people and do things that way. Because otherwise I'm only going to sit here and talk to my computer anyway. So I may as well have other people on the other end of it. <laughs> that, were, that was... That was... Effing metal. You're absolutely right. He just... Spiked her through the brain. With a Darth Maul blade. And then she just got right back up. It was like... No, 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 no. We're going to fight this out, my friend. How? You just had a sword through your head. Kane. If we're going to get anywhere in this adventure, you and I are going to need to start working together. I press the buttons. You do what the button tells you to do. It is that simple. It doesn't need to be any more complex than that. This is all on you. I, I'm pushing the correct buttons for the input you need to output effectively. That's, that's how this works. My only real reservation now is that in 20 minutes I've got to wrap up the stream. Which means that when we reload, assuming I don't find another checkpoint, we're going to have to uh, watch that cutscene again. And I'm going to lose my sabre. Right, let's try and play this section a bit better this time, rather than getting distracted by the radio. feel like it can be survivable. Well, I mean, she proved it. She proved it was survivable. No, 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 no. I didn't want to jump. Right, missed again. Okay. Let's try and do this a bit better this time, maybe. Or let's not. Oh, we dodged. Jump, Kate! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. He's down. Go on this guy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting back up again. But it's okay. Now there's this one here. Jump, Kane! <laughs> Kane, you're really letting me down on these dodges. Kane! He's dead again! 
I don't know where the next checkpoint is. So we just got to sit here and watch this Will again. These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, please tell me of this place. Uma uh, tells me. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's redeem a joke. I'm also going to take a quick. There will be a gondola to right. take you there. If Here we go. Is deactivated. Uh. You must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? Oh, this is good because it's a because it, it, it it's a joke at my expense. I will whisper you again. Andy says, "Molly's so stupid she can't see beyond the end of her nose." To which Mandy says, "Yes, but with her nose, that's quite a long way." One day, my people would know me again for their lord. So, right, there's a better one. There's a better one. We've got we got time. Jilly, do you think I'm pretty, Billy? In a way. What way? As far away as possible. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I'm nice in a way. What way? Far away. <laughs> Yo, that was an actual burn. <laughs> okay, the jump works out quite well for us on this part here. Do you know what? Actually, maybe we aren't doing this all wrong. Maybe we should actually just jump down into the factory, get the saber, and then come back up here to take these girls on then. Oh, we interrupted her super attack. That's going to help. But then she just came straight back at us anyway. Oh, for goodness sake. You're right, I certainly am. Do you know what? I'd even take the cutscene now, just just end it. Join in if you know the words. Will you follow her? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Do you know what? Uma tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. I'm gonna redeem one myself. To take you ready? Here we go. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Oh my god, there's a whole story here. Wisdom to dispense. I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again. Is this when it is this all one thing? Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. That's huge! To deal justice fairly to all. One day, oh no, they are they are different no stories, but we've kind of missed everything now, so... I'll do that one next time. Kind would know me first of all. Um... What do monsters sing at Christmas? Deck the halls with poison ivy. That one was really, really bad. Oh, no, wait, sorry, DMCA. We've got to do something different. <coughs> Deck the halls with poison ivy. There we go. They'll never know. <laughs> Alright, let's try and do this a different way this time. Let's go for the saber. And then we'll go up and take on those harlots. I mean, I've got like 15 minutes left, so like, that hurt. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> oh, he twitches! Oh, he's twitching! Let's put him out of his misery right there. It, it did hurt. It was a terrible joke. It was terrible. But there are plenty more. And I have no... Like, I saw there were some long-form story ones in there, so the next time we die and have to replay this section all over again... I will um, tell one of the long form story ones that'll be sure to have everyone on the edge of their seat for the exciting punchline conclusion. 
man. This weapon is so good. Oh, excuse me. What? Alrighty then. And not even the saber's gonna help us. It would have been helpful if I'd have remembered the page that they were on, wouldn't it, really? Let's just go to the contents. Here we go. Um, ah, there we are. Right, 106. Here we are. Brace yourself. Uh, right, let's just trigger the cutscene. Before that gets going, I'm going to mute the game audio so you can listen to me tell a joke. <clears throat> One day, Tommy Tortoise was taken out for tea by his parents. They went into a cafe, and Mrs. Tortoise ordered tea and cakes. Mr. Tortoise ordered egg sandwiches, and Tommy ordered ice cream. He was just about to start eating it. When his father said, Oh dear, I seem to have forgotten my wallet. Uh, would you pop home and fetch it, please, Tommy? Tommy was a very well-behaved tortoise who always did what his parents asked. So instead of eating his ice cream, he headed for the door. Two days later, he still hadn't returned. His father turned to his mother and said, I think, my dear, we'd better eat Tommy's ice cream before it melts. Whereupon a voice from the doorway called out, if you do that, then I won't go. <laughs> I like that one. I like it. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work out for us very well at all. So... Uh, we're just going to have to... We'll just do it this way. We'll do it the way we have been doing it. Oh, yeah, game audio, you're right. I knew I would forget. <laughs> I knew I'd forget. And I bet you all did too. I don't know how I was able to block one of those shots, but not the other. Jump, Kane! We did it. I definitely jumped out of the way of that. Again, I put in the, the correct input and Kane just didn't hit the home run for us there. I mean, so... The way this is shaking up is that I've got 10 minutes to find the checkpoint, otherwise this will all be for nothing, and we will have to watch this cutscene again at the start of the next stream. <laughs> Having said that, I'm not on a massive time crunch at the moment. Currently I have the house to myself for the next month, so that's also a reason why I'm going to be streaming a lot more frequently is because... I'm literally sitting in the house on Milari doing now. So, may as well try and get as much interaction and do whatever I can to keep myself mildly sane. So, as I'm not on a real time crunch, certainly I've got work to get up for. I can, uh, I can afford to go on maybe a fraction longer just until we get to some sort of progress because I'm going to be saying the words to that cutscene in my sleep before too long. <laughs> whatever, um, whatever sleep I do happen to get. Do you have your drum kit? No, my drum kit is currently absent from the flat. The reason being is I don't think I have as much room here as I thought I did and I think don't think it I think it will fit but I don't think it'll be a comfortable fit and I reckon I'll struggle to play 
in the way that I would want. So, can you just stop delaying the inevitable? Do you know what? Delay the inevitable. <laughs> um, yeah, so I haven't got my drum kit here. However, what I am thinking of for Christmas is... Uh, I've basically asked my parents if they'll be willing to give like basically just give me money this year and then I can set aside some cash to get an electric drum kit that's going to fit into the space a lot more nicely won't be as big or as good as my full size acoustic one but it will certainly do the job that it needs to and the thing is I haven't played drums in like what's got to be going on six months now and I am missing it a great deal. And to be honest, all I want to do is just be able to play now rather than worry about what I've got. So an electric kit feels like it will fill the job quite nicely. It will fit the space better. It will be able to tide me over until a point where I can go and actually play with my real kit. So I think that's probably the best way forward. At the moment, I've got uh, something called Aerodrums, which lets you play the air, basically. It shines a bright light at you, and you have drumsticks with little reflective balls on the top, and you have foot pads with reflective surface on as well, and it lets you play, play the air, basically, as if you had a drum kit in front of you. And it is really cool, but it is also very imprecise, and when you are good... Of so when you when you have experience with drums, uh, that for me that imprecision takes a lot of the fun away because I just can't get the responsiveness that I want and like from my actual drum kit. Uh, oh my, there's a lot of some extra stuff. Uh, that's what you took to Canada. It's what I bought while I was in Canada actually, because um, I spent seven or so months in Canada. Uh, again, without my drum kit, I began to miss it, and so I was like, I need to find a way to work this out. So I found out about Aerodrums, because I remember I'd seen it on Dragon's Den once. And so I bought one and got that shipped out to Canada for me. And again, it did the job very well, but it was also very imprecise, and it couldn't quite do... it didn't quite do the job for me. Unfortunately. It's okay, but not brilliant. Uh, I'm, I'm missing so much. Sorry, I was talking about drums too much. We'll have to drink soon. Absolutely, Connor. Absolutely. Within, within, within the government's guidelines, obviously. You know, we're, we're responsible people. Within the government's guidelines. As a support bubble, which is permissible, we will do that. <laughs> Anyone else you can put it whilst Kate's away? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Um, also, like my room's quite ideal because it's on the top floor of the building, which means that the drums have the floor of my room plus the living room beneath me to travel through before it reaches the neighbours, and so it's a bit a bit better in terms of noise. This guy did not have a clue. It's a bit better in terms of noise. Whereas if it, the only other place would be down in the living room and then it would travel to the neighbours and that would be a difficult thing to uh, try and explain away, I reckon. This guy just doesn't stop. I also thought I'd put this one down, but apparently not. Now he's out. They are going to ruin this sword. I bet it looks cool and does damage, but I bet its durability is trash. Okay, he's down. Is he out? Not quiet. This guy. He tried. Okay, we've... Alright, we've put them both down now, at last. Drinks for all. Rightly said, noobs mum. Rightly said. Drinks for all. God knows this year everyone needs one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd be all for lowering the drinking age this year. I'd be like, you know what? Even the 14 year olds need a drink this year. <laughs> it's definitely been one of them years. Okay, there's a couple of civvies over there. That's fine. Nothing to worry about right there. 
Uh, I don't think I've asked how long you had the drum kit for. So my acoustic kit I've had for a very long time, actually. It's the only acoustic kit I have ever owned. I love weddings! Drinks all around! <laughs> um, my acoustic kit I've had for, I feel like, maybe... So I started drumming when I was 16. So I've been playing drums for 12 years. I feel like I've had an, that acoustic kit for about 10 of those years. And the only things I've had to replace on that kit have been various symbols that have broken. Everything else is still as it was when I got it. Aside from... Uh, aside from my bass drum pedal, which I've replaced twice, because the one that came with the kit was a single pedal, so I got a double pedal for it because I'm a heavy metal fan and I like playing fast and loud heavy metal music. Uh, and then I replaced the double pedal I had with a better model of pedal that allowed me to play much better. It's a checkpoint! We have done it! And just in time, too. <laughs> just in time. Oof, let's get a save down right there. After you left on Thursday, you and Af ended up drinking until 7. Good grief. Good grief. I can only imagine how awful you guys must have felt the following day. But, you know, it was all stock that had to go. It all, it all had to go, I suppose. Um, I might pop in tomorrow and see if there's any of those sugar-free Red Bulls knocking about. Because... Why not? Because <laughs> why not? Since the pubs are empty, I can get away with saying that. Drinks all around. Well, exactly. You know, we, we're not allowed to go anywhere now. The only shops that are open are, like, supermarkets and news agents and places that can do takeout, which we can't, so... <laughs> Never mind. Drinks all around. Having said that, I have been being very good. You took them? Selfish. Selfish. But that's... That's also fair enough. I um, I realised that if I was gonna leave, if I was gonna leave early, I would probably miss out on a lot of the stuff. So that that's fair enough. Only the tonics are left. That's not fair enough. That's greedy. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, beautiful. Well, I'm glad we got to that checkpoint. I am gonna just, I'm gonna double tap the save, just in case, because you never know. You never know. Ah, oh, beautiful. Quit the game. We're done here. Beautiful. Go into full screen. Ah. You can see I put no effort into doing my hair today as well. I've got like this really stupid looking like quiff thing. It's just nothing. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yay! A little social plug. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, look at that. It's a good job I'm going to bed soon, isn't it? You can go for like the mohawk. You can try to. Something like that. It's been parted all day, so it's got a little bit of a curve on it. <laughs> but there we are. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm going to bed soon, so it doesn't even matter. Thank you, everybody, so very, very much for joining in. I love your room. That ceiling is so cool. My ceiling gets so many compliments, it's unreal. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, your room's nice. And that ceiling. <laughs> You know, I mean, it, it, it is a nice ceiling. It is a nice ceiling. This, this like, wooden panelling is what the inside of my house would look like. It's probably what the outside of my dream house would look like as well, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has got, it's like a nice little angle, but the thing is, the outdoors is literally right on, right outside, so this room is very cold. But, it, it's not a bad ceiling. I do quite like it, and everyone else seems to adore it for some reason. We don't see that much in the States. Ah, I see. But yeah, it's a it's a nice little it's a nice little ceiling. It do, it does the job. It does the job. Um, but anyway, yes, thank you all, everybody, so much for the, <laughs> the outdoors is literally right outside. Shut up. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Honestly, it's really, really, very much appreciated. Thank you for the support as well, for the follows, and uh, had some bits as well, and for hanging out in chat, everybody. It really is doing a lot to keep me sane in these times and I do very much appreciate it um 
yeah, next time. Uh, I don't know. What are we doing next time? Next time, uh, I can get my schedule up. Uh, I, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Eight more bits from Rage. Thank you so very much indeed. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'm having a day off tomorrow. It's Remembrance Sunday, uh, so I'm going to visit my family tomorrow, if the government allows it. Um, I'm taking the day off tomorrow, but then we will be back on Monday with something. I can't. I think Spelunky on Monday, maybe Death Roulette Spelunky on Monday. I seem to remember. Where are we? Yes, Death Roulette Spelunky on Monday. So that would be. That'd be good fun. You can bet on all the stupid ways that I'm going to die, because I do die in very stupid ways. It'd be lovely to see you all there. Same time, 7pm GMT. Um, I'm not quite sure what that would make it. Maybe, uh, is that, that might be midday-ish in the US, depending on which coast you're on. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't, I, don't, I don't do time zones very well. Um, but other than that, everybody, once again, thank you all for hanging out. I hope to see you all again on a future stream. We'll be doing these a lot more frequently because Eastern is five hours behind. Uh, so I think I think it's Western seven, seven to eight, I think. But yeah, anyway, we'll be doing these a lot more often because I need to do something to maintain sanity. And everybody's help in doing that is very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever time of day it may be for you, and I will hopefully see you on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>